Hi, my name is Denis and I want to present you today the new features of WhatsApp Companion. WhatsApp Companion is a plugin developed by our company Orsena to improve the monitoring with the product WhatsApp Gold. As you know in WhatsApp Gold, you have a lot of active monitors already existing. With our WhatsApp Companion, you can now also monitor some remote ag agents like NLP and Zabix. To access it, you just need to go to your active monitor library and then use the NRP monitor type. You just go in the library, select it and click OK. Now just specify the name of your monitor as for example check users. Then you can specify a description of your monitor and the comment. In our example it will be a common check users that will be used. You can specify some parameters if you want, the port for the communication with the NLP agent and the timeout and other information. The information that's going to trans transit during uh, the communication is encrypted by SSL. So here is the connection to our server which has the uh, NLP agent and the command that we use is just specify at this line and you can see the different threshold warning at 5 critical at 10 so meaning that the number of users is warning at 5 and critical at 10 for us so we're gonna try our monitor that we already configured on the device co that has the NLP agent Our device is actually a Linux machine, so we try on it. And as you can see, there is the number of users check, which is one. Our currently con uh, our console is logged, and we can see the threshold, so five and ten. Our monitor is working fine because the return code was zero. Now we're going to try another command which is going to um, have gather the data about the processor load of our Linux machine. So the command is check load. As you can see in our uh, NLP config file, you got the command check load, which is launching a plugin check load and you got the different threshold when we try this monitor test it you can see that the return code is zero meaning that the active monitor is up and also different value of load i mean the load for one minute five minutes and 15 minutes and the threshold configured in the nrp config file This plugin is really useful if you need, for example, to implement your WhatsApp Gold with uh, existing NLP um, machine. So it's very easy to add your active monitor. It's like the other active monitor. You just need to uh, select it in your library and add it to your device. So for example, check load and check users. You just add them, say OK. And it's gonna, it gonna run, it's gonna run like over active monitor. So if you have over Linux machine or Windows machine, also you can check different thing. For example, for a Windows machine, it can be useful to use NLPE to check the services if they are up or no. Uh, for example, to check uh, eight services one time you can have the NRP agent configured on the machine and have a command called for example NT services and if you go on your Windows device in the NRP config file you can see that the command is called NT services and gonna <coughs> try ser services like DNS client, alerter, DHCP client, event log NLP over and overs so you can put the services that you want in this file and it's just one command to run and to know if services are going are running or not 
you just specify the command like here and you're going to check eight services so instead of uh, checking one service by one like with uh, uh, process monitor for example or with anti service monitor you can check uh, a range of services that you want for example on an application then you can uh, only specify one monitor and it's gonna be very useful for what for the communication you're gonna see for example we try it on the windows server and you see that the time to get the information of eight services is really low is really low it's what's it, this is what is important you see 172 milliseconds so it's really important if for example you want to check one service anti-service it is made by WVMI and WVMI is taking more time and so you see how long it is just to check one service remotely okay so it's really interesting to if you have a lot of services to check on one specific uh, machine you can do it like this and it's more powerful and efficient so here is the device and you add the monitor NLP monitor as for uh, Linux machine it's the same way to make it what is important is that for NRPE you got a lot of um, plugins already existing that you can download to monitor different things on your servers so you can download these plugins and add them to your agent so now we're going to talk about the other remote agent called Zabix with this agent we can do also some monitoring remotely and it can be useful to pass through firewalls for example because you just need to specify one port and you don't have um, dynamic ports created each time so as for Zabbix and NRP it is also an advantage to check some values with this agent so you go to your active monitor library and you select your Zabbix monitor and then you see that you have some types already presented like Windows, Linux, APH so you for example for Windows you just specify the name Zabbix processor load and you can say for example I don't want that my processor load is uh, greater than um, let's say 80% or 50% I don't know 80% maybe so you just you just enter what you what you need in the monitor configure your processor load and the agent in fact gonna check this and so you will have the return of this check with this monitor so you see the return code is zero meaning that uh, the monitor is up so that your processor load is uh, less than the percentage specified so now we're going to try it specifying a threshold of 3 just to show you that when there is a problem it's going down so you have the written code is 1 meaning the active monitor is down and you have also the real value written 3.1 so it's greater than 3 <laughs> of course now we're gonna just let the processor load as we made before we just validate our monitor and now we're gonna add this Zabbix monitor for the processor load to our Windows server
So you see that the monitor is up, no problem. Processor load is not going to the threshold specified. You can also use it for Linux, for APH, and for MySQL. And uh, we're gonna show you now in the in the um, Linux server where is the the Zabbix agent configure file so you just specify the server that can access to this agent which is really important in terms of security you can uh, allow some you some uh, IPs or not and you can also modify the port to communicate with your Zabbix agent by default is 10050 and the other thing as NRPE is that you got a lot of templates, Zabbix templates on the available on the on the internet. So it's very um, it's expanding the monitoring of WhatsApp Gold with the plugins WhatsApp Companion and with these remote agents. For example, the download Linux um, is just a, uh, an XML file. And we're gonna, for example, run a, a specific command called uh, to know the free space, uh, free memory, the size of the free memory of our uh, VM. So we just create a new Zabbix uh, monitor, but this time we just specify the Zabbix query directly. VM dot memory dot size and free. So the same as the XML file. We put the name so free memory greater than 100 megabytes on Linux and we specify the, the results so we know we don't want that um the device we say that the device is down when the memory is uh, smaller than 100 megabytes so we're going to test it on the device so it's fine return con is zero so it's very simple to to configure for different information that you want to get and you just need to add your Zabbix monitor as the over that we have made before so so thank you for your uh, attention and uh, I hope this video helped you for for your um, for your monitoring. Uh, so please free feel free to contact us on this different address, and also you can access to the store to download WhatsApp Companion as a trial version. Thank you very much. Bye bye.